Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, The Incredible Greek. Welcome to the uh, 25k subscriber special Q&A. So I know it's uh, been a while, you know, it's been a week. Uh, I've just been waiting for, you know, questions to build up and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I've got a load of good questions. So thank you so much guys for uh, putting your uh, questions down. And uh, I've tried to answer as many as, as, many of them as, as possible. So, uh, there might be one or two questions that I might have missed, you know, just, so I'm sorry if, if I've missed your question. So, uh, yeah, Q&A. So, this is a chance for you guys to know me a little better. So, uh, why don't we get on it? How old are you? And do you watch The Walking Dead? And if so, who is your favourite character? Right, so, I am 29 years old. I just turned 29 in September. So, not far off. That just turned 29. And I do watch The Walking Dead. I'm, I'm quite far behind, though, with everyone else. I'm still on, I'm still only on season five. I've just been so busy with, with YouTube, watching other TV shows, other TV shows like Supergirl, The Flash, uh, The Strain. Uh, there's, been, there's just been loads of other TV shows that I've been watching. So uh, I need to, I tell you what, I need to just spend a day binging on Walking Dead. But uh, my favourite character is Daryl. Daryl is, I think since like the very beginning, Daryl has been my favourite character. He just seems like a really cool guy. I love the fact that his signature weapon is, you know, the crossbow, and he's very good with the crossbow. But I like the fact that he has survival skills, like you can track and, and, and stuff like that. And um, yeah, if I was in a zombie apocalypse, he'd be the kind of guy that I want to be like, be with, you know, be around, you know, because he. he you know, because if I ever, I mean, if I was in the middle of the fucking woods, I'd get lost. Daryl, he just, he would just know where to go, and it's just. <laughs> but um, yeah, so Daryl is my favourite character, definitely. Who is your favourite person in the whole entire world? Um, that's really difficult because I don't really have a favourite person. You know, I love everybody, and. It's just, it's just, it's just too hard for me to decide who's my favourite person in the entire world, you know, because um, you're asking like anybody, like anybody, like from celebrities to people in my personal life, and it's difficult to 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 think of like people. Right, next question. What's your f uh, three favourite films slash? movies once again it is so bloody hard but at least you've given me three and not just one because if, if you just asked me one then it'd be really difficult well currently my three favorite movies right now is terminator 2 rocky they've always been on my favorite list okay but uh recently my newest uh, favorite movie that i like is uh, Captain America Civil War. Really enjoyed that film. When I went to go and see that film in the cinema, I was constantly on the edge of my seat. Wasn't bored. I thought it was like one of the best superhero movies ever. My opinion. <laughs> but yeah, those are my uh, three movies that I like, that, that are my favorite right now. Do you want to get married one day? And if you did, do you think she would be a gamer and in your vids? Hmm. Hmm. Um, I'll be quite honest with you guys. I'm not very keen on marriage. I'm not very keen on it. I'd just be happy to have a partner for life, and uh, you know, someone who loves me and you know will look after me, and you know, vice versa. Yeah, I'd look after her and love her unconditionally. Um, if she wanted to get married, that like, if she, if she really wanted to get married, then I'll be like, okay, let's get married. I'd love a girlfriend that, that loves watching movies, playing games, and going to the cinema, and, and eating nice, you know, you know, nice restaurants like TGI Fridays. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the kind of girl that, I, that I'd love to have. Hmm, would I let her in my gaming videos and reaction videos? Um, well, yeah, of course. Why not? Why not? You know, if she wants to, then yeah, great. You know, if she, if she can add something new, to the uh, to the videos and you know bring her own like bubbly sort of uh, you know personality and make things even better for the channel then yeah definitely you know it's funny sometimes videos are a lot better to sometimes videos are a lot better when you've got someone to bounce off of you know what I mean so yeah I'll let her on my videos let's see what's your biggest goal 
Not necessarily YouTube. Uh, look, my biggest goal in life is just to live life happily. Just live life, just be the happiest I can be until the end of my days. That's my goal in life, okay? Yo, know, I may never get rich. I may never, you know, have all the best things in life. And uh, the way I see it, you can't dwell on those things. Because if you do dwell on those things, you... You, know, you just make yourself sad all the time. So my, my goal in life is to be as happy as I can every day until the end of my days. Um, you know, that's 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 all I want uh, in life, basically. That's that's my goal in life, just to be happy. Next question. Incredible Greek. Are you actually Greek? Well, guys. I must confess, I must confess, I am not Greek, I'm half Greek, <laughs> I'm half Greek, okay, I'm half Greek, half uh, English, okay, half British, okay, my father, he's full uh, Greek, my mother, she's full, uh, you know, white British, so yeah, my father came over here when he was just a little boy, uh, my nan, my Greek nan opened up a fish and chip shop. And uh, yeah, my, my father met my mum when they were very young. And uh, yeah, I'm the result and my two sisters. So, <laughs> oh, Twizilla. <laughs> How's it going, mate? So, uh, what's the question? What is the first video game you've played? Wow, that's really, that's really difficult for me to remember. Because I've been playing computer games since I was able to bloody pick up something. So, <laughs> uh, one of the earliest computer games I can remember was the very first Super Mario game. The very first Super Mario game. Uh, what's your favourite candle scent? <laughs> that's a random. That's quite random. That's quite random. I don't know uh, what my favourite candle scent is. I don't have any candles. Um, I guess if I was going to have a candle, I guess I'm... I don't know. I, I don't know. I guess maybe a vanilla flavour, I guess. I don't know, man. <laughs> Who is your favourite YouTuber and why? And uh, can you show us the app you use to edit? Well, I actually got two favourite YouTubers. Uh, one is Michael Blyer. The reason of why I like him is because he's the he just got, he's just got that personality. He's got such a great personality. He's the type of guy that I think I could be really good, like really good friends with. Yeah, the way he commentates on his videos and uh, yeah, it's just so good. And uh, he's yeah, he he looks like he's just the type of guy that would be just so fun to hang out with. And he's a very kind-hearted individual. Okay, he does loads of charities and stuff like that. And he's a very, he's a great person. He's a good human being. My other favorite YouTuber, The Angry Grandpa Show. <laughs> Angry Grandpa. Oh my God, them, them, them videos. I first discovered Angry Grandpa back in 2009. And the very first video I ever watched was when he was looking for his candy. And uh, you got Pickle Boy behind there. You go, he's got this other person. Uh, I think it's his son or grandson. I don't know. He calls him dad and it's grandpa. And then it's, I don't know if it's a grandpa or actually it's his son. But, um, <laughs> but the, yeah, the very first video, he was looking for his candy and Pickle Boy was filming him. And Angry Grandpa literally destroyed the whole kitchen. He turned over everything, he ripped uh, the fridge doors open, he flipped over the bloody uh, the cooker, he just created a whole mess and at the end of the video goes, the pickle boy goes, is that the candy over there? And he's like, that's not the candy is it? Come on man, that's not the candy. He's like, and grandpa's like, oh shit, that's my candy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, there's loads of videos. There's, there's just endless videos of uh, angry grandpa screaming, yelling, swearing, and 
you know, he does loads of good vlog videos. And, uh, you know, if I'm looking for something uh, exciting to watch and uh, something like funny and just really exciting to watch, then uh, I watch the Angry Grandpa show. So, uh, Angry Grandpa, I love you, man. So, you want to know what kind of editing software that I use? Well, I use this, okay? Uh, Sony Movie Studio Platinum Suit. So, yeah, it's, it's good. You can find it on Amazon. It's quite cheap. And uh, it's a really good movie maker. And uh, if you see, as you see on the screen here, this is what it looks like. It's, it's very similar to other Sony uh, movie makers. Uh, obviously, with every upgrade, it has new features and stuff like that. I need to upgrade. I've had this one for a very long time. I need to upgrade. Uh, the other ones are more expensive, so that's why I've not upgraded. But so far, this one has done me very well. And uh, so far, it's, it's been good. So buy that one if you if you're interested so out of all the videos which one is your most favorite most rememberable oh damn well i've got over 500 videos um hotel remorse horror game oh my i've never screamed so loud if you go and check out that video hotel remorse uh, horror game on my channel then oh I had so many scary moments in there it really scared the crap out of me but I guess when it comes to a reaction video as well I, I can't pick one uh, if I was to pick a series of reaction videos I'd say all of Adik the ones uh, try not to laugh challenges I've had a lot of uh, good laughs with uh, those videos a lot of uh, they were all really good challenges and uh, a lot of people seem to you know, like those videos that I do. So, uh, yeah, the, all, of my, all the uh, Deep The One uh, Try Not To Laugh videos are... They're my most memorable and favourite videos. Right, next question. Where is your favourite place that you have travelled to? Or where would you like to go? Wow. Well, I've been fortunate enough to uh, travel to quite a few places. I've been to Cyprus naturally i've been cyprus like 20 times in my lifetime i think more than 20 about 24 times okay i've been florida i've been spain i've been uh france um but what's my most favorite place to go to definitely cyprus cyprus is like my second home uh, it's my most favourite place to go to for a holiday, but uh, it's just a really beautiful country, beautiful weather, lovely food, uh, great attractions over there, and it's just a really great place to go to, Bataras and Famagusta, okay? That's the place, that's the area of Cyprus that I travel to, and that's where family is as well. So, that's another reason why I love travelling to Cyprus, because of family as well. But it's, it really is a beautiful island, and uh, it's, it, Cyprus will always be in my heart forever. So, where would I like to go? I would love to go to Japan. Okay, I'd love to go to Japan, go to Tokyo, and and just uh, experience the city life over there, and just experience the culture, and you know, you, you know, it's like a completely different world over there, you know. And uh, Japan, once again, it's got a beautiful culture. And I'd love to to, to, to go to, to 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 Japan in uh, Tokyo or uh, Okinawa. Okinawa, that's a big tourist place. Uh, I'd love to go to Okinawa as well. So yeah, that's where I'd like to go. <laughs> <laughs> What's the biggest shit you ever took? <laughs> the biggest shit I ever took. What good question is that? The biggest shit I ever took. Um. <laughs> well, the there is a, funny enough. I do have a story. Oh, uh, about two years ago, <laughs> I was. Uh, oh God. I there was this one time where I did not go to the loo for two days. Two days. I didn't go to the loo and I was getting re really worried. I was like, what the freaking hell was going on? I've not I've not had a number two in two days. What the... What's going on? And uh, I went to the doctors. And apparently I, I was... I had extreme, very extreme, like, constipation or something like that. It was like two years ago. I can't quite remember now. 
But, uh, you know, she gave me something. Or she said, what she gave? I can't remember what she gave me. It was like a laxative or something. I can't remember. I can't remember. I took some sort of laxative or... I can't remember now. But all I know is after I took whatever I took, I think about a few hours later, it was on. It was on. It was a desperate battle to get to that loot. Okay? I needed to go so badly. My, li my, li my whole lower body... All the strength just, it just, it just went, okay? I was dragging myself on the floor to get to the bloody toilet. And, uh, yeah, two days worth of, uh, came out. So, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that, that was a nice story to share. <laughs> Thank you for your question. <laughs> you mentioned that you had a motorbike. What type of bike do you have? Uh, what do you have and what it is? I had a normal, I had a scooter, and uh, I had a oh, what was it? Fucking a Suzuki, okay, a Suzuki, and that was second hand. What happened to that bike? Uh, it kept on, it was second hand, that kept breaking down, so I sold that. The first bike that I ever had was the scooter, it was from a, it was a Chinese scooter. I went cheap, yeah, I went bloody cheap, sue me. And it was from a, a company called uh, Direct Bikes. And uh, yeah, the, within a year, I think I think just over a year of having that, having that bike, it had problems. And so that's when I switched to the, to the Suzuki. But then the Suzuki got screwed up. I sold that. And then I got my, uh, my other bike up and running. And then not long after that, it breaks down again. Just kept them breaking out. And uh, that bike got stolen. Yeah, about four months ago, that bike got stolen. Okay. And then the next, I think two days later, the police found it dumped about eight miles away from here. It was just dumped. Basically, they've, they've nicked a bike that don't work. They've had a tantrum, tam tantrum and they've just smashed it to pieces, basically, with a bat or something. I don't know what the fuck they did with it. But, uh, yeah, thank you, assholes. But, oh well, we move on. What would my reaction be if I met Flippy? Knowing what he's capable of, I would be very, very scared. <laughs> you know, I'd, be, uh, I'd pretend to be alright, you know, with his nice side and everything. But I'd be so cautious of anything that I'd do that would trigger him. Yeah, I would be... I'll be a nervous wreck. <laughs> anything that happens, anything, yeah, loud noise outside, anything that, I'll be running. I'd run. Okay, I'll be fucking running. Okay. Please give an honest answer. What is your opinion of the furry fandom? Hmm. The furry fandom. Well, I don't know much about the furry fandom. Look, with every fandom, there's two, there's two sides. You know, there's the good side and there's like, you know, weird and awkward and some cringy side you know what I mean like every fandom has that okay uh, the furry fandom from what I know it's a fandom that loves you know sort of humanoid you know animal characters like from computer games or movies or from stories and stuff like that there's nothing wrong with that but then there's you know that side where people are actually dressing up like you know like humanoid like you know uh, animal characters and they're acting like animals and stuff like that. I've not really looked into it. Um, yeah, that side of the fandom, I'll be honest, it's a little odd to me. It's very odd. Uh, but, you know, the other side where people are just like drawing fan art and, you know, they like making videos about, you know, their favourite characters and stuff like that. There's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. But that side of it, I'm talking about, yeah, I, I find it very <sighs> odd. You know, any uh, furry fan that, you know, any like person that's part of the furry fandom watching this, I don't have any like ill intent, yeah, ill uh, faults about, yeah, I don't hate, yeah, I don't, you know, that, honestly, I don't hate anyone. If somebody likes to do something that's not actually harming anyone, then there's no reason for me to be like prejudiced or or hateful or anything like that towards them, okay? So that's how I feel. 
Right, next question. Do you still watch Happy Tree Friends but not make videos of you reacting to them now? I do not watch... I have not watched any more Happy Tree Friends because I've been saving them just in case I want to go back to reacting to Happy Tree Friends. Any chances of the Flash reactions will come back? Well, unfortunately about that, uh, I was doing like Flash like episode reactions and then I was around my friend's ass and uh, you know, he, you know, he, uh, oh, what's it called now? He, was, he had this app, he had this app on his uh, phone that lets him watch loads of TV programs and stuff like that. He's like, oh, have you watched any of the Flash episodes yet? I was like, uh, not yet. And it's like, oh, have you seen episode, uh, like, is it four and, f like four and five? I was like, no, I haven't watched them yet. He said, oh, let's watch them. I, like, I basically got pressurised into watching uh, the, you know, the Flash episodes you know, around my friends. He's like, oh, come on, we'll order pizza and we'll just sit here and watch two episodes of the Flash. And I was like, oh, go on then. So... So, yeah, I've watched two episodes of The Flash, and I've watched all the episodes up till now, so unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, there's not really any point in me doing any more Flash uh, reaction back videos. Um, so, yeah, I'm really sorry about that. I'm really, really sorry about that. Will you marry me? <laughs> who's, who's dead? <laughs> Someone called Who's Dead <laughs> is asking me to marry him. Uh, who's dead? I've checked your channel, son. I've checked your channel, and uh, if you was a beautiful woman, I would say yes. Okay? If you was a beautiful... Because it's your gaming channel, right? If you was a beautiful woman playing gaming videos, I'd be like, right, I'm on my way. But you're a guy. No. <laughs> uh, what is your first real name? Well, if you must know, if you have to know, my first real name is Sean. Okay? My first real name is Sean. S-E-A-N. Spelt the Irish way. So yeah, I'm half Greek, half British, with an Irish name. And I a package. <laughs> Well, guys, that was all the questions. So, uh, thanks very much for stopping by and checking out this video. I hope you uh, learned something a little bit new about me today. And uh, I hope I didn't disappoint you with my answers. And once again, thank you so much for all the questions. I really do appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll do another Q&A in the not-too-distant future. Maybe if I, you know, if I reach 50k. If I reach 50k, I'll do another uh, you know, Q&A, you know. So, uh, yeah, don't forget to check out my other videos. And uh, once, again, guys, once again, guys, thank you so much for your support, you know, your love, your comments, your likes. And, uh, yeah, just thank you so much. I'm now, I've now hit 26,000 subscribers now, actually. So it's, it's just, just, just amazing. So just thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys later on the next video. The Greek is out. Bye.